What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys have been out building shit. Believing in your own two God-given hands. Taking on new projects. Building, fixing, creating. Anyways. The uh, rear locker on this little coyote has been difficult ever since I bought it. Um, it was difficult at first and then it just quit working. And uh, if you come under here, under here with me. You see that rod there? That's what engages it. And I think when I first got this, I ran over some sticks and it bent that. I know that I ran over some sticks and it, like some branches and stuff, and it kind of boom, boom, boom in the fender and messed this up. I'm thinking that it probably bent that too at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it off and get it straightened out. And uh, get it fitting on there better. It was held in by these clips. And is all I, I did. Is I grabbed the back of them. Lightly. With these. A set of needle nose would work better. But I couldn't find mine right now. So I just went ahead and used these. And then I, I tapped the. Um, the. Uh, clippers. With a hammer to where. It knocks it out. Of the holes up in there and now I'm gonna pull that piece of metal out and straighten it up better so I'll put it in the vise like this and I've just been cranking it down and that's uh, straightening it out this one and I'm gonna keep on going until those are, are you know both straight and I'll probably go a little bit further because I know when I'll let off the vise it'll pull back a little bit but I'm assuming that that was a factory bend or close to it this is what got the extra bend to it all right YouTube so that's how far I'm gonna go I'm gonna let off now and see what happens and uh, try fitting it on the tractor and just kind of go from there so I took it out and that's what I've got um, I feel like I feel like I can put it you know, in the vise here and, and give it maybe a couple wax and get it just a little tad bit straighter. Yeah, I like that a lot better. I clamped it like that and then I was able to hit it at the bottom where I wanted to and at the top where I wanted to. And that that's looking like it's probably what it was shaped like pretty close to it from the factory I'm imagining but I never got video or looked at it that closely when I first bought it so let's go test fit it popped right in there I can see that when I'm pushing on it it, it I don't know that it's going to be the strongest but it is going to work again I'm sure but I might uh, think about making a reinforced or a stronger one of those maybe a piece of square tubing instead of just that flat bar not real sure or I could probably even just weld another flat piece but the other way to make that like a t-shape to where it reinforces but we'll see how this uh, works out I'm gonna go ahead and get the clips put back in that didn't work out. I started up. I went for a short little drive. Tried to uh, engage the rear diff lock. Just bent the rod again. Would not engage. So. That sucks. So my first step was getting it up off the ground. And so that I can uh, run it in place. Little bit and get my locker to engage. But uh, next, I'm gonna go down there with some PB blaster and some grease and stuff to try to get it uh, looped up.
if I feel like it's weak, I'm just gonna order one in and I'm gonna get a new one. Yeah, I just used an adjustable wrench, put it on there and was able to finally free that up. Don't go getting forceful with it or nothing, just kinda go easy. But hopefully now it's loosened up so when I connect my rod, my rod doesn't bend and I'm able to engage my locker. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a little more PB blaster and uh, put a little daub of grease up there too above it to where it kind of drains down into that little city so yeah after this one had been bent i couldn't get it quite straight and working so i ended up ordering a new one in it was only about 10 bucks uh plus the shipping which the shipping they kind of got me on but whatever um so that one's junk now but this one i'm gonna go ahead and use my pen and i'm gonna uh Put it up here and i'm going to trace that thing out and in the future if this thing ever bends i can either bend it back to my template or the other thing that i can do is probably just get like some one by one steel stock that's not gonna bend just some square one by one and uh put my little things out where they need to be and whatnot and i think that, that would be a lot stronger than this and yes i can cut this end at an angle and get it to work and whatnot with one by one but you guys get what i'm saying it, i feel like that would be a lot stronger than this little cheesy chinese piece so i'm gonna go ahead and trace it out on here so i've got and it sucks but yeah that's good enough i've got the basic uh outline of it now if i ever need to make one i don't have to go back and buy gave her a little grease i think that joint would be a lot better if it had like a copper washer or a bushing or something but Come on, Coyote. Step. I also straightened up this one a little bit. Got the new one installed, and it's all centered up and looks good. Got the pins in, and I put them, you know, try to think about the where they'll get hooked the least and, and direction of travel and stuff. Uh, this one I did backwards from direction of travel just because coming from this side is such a pain. All right, guys. Hit that with a little bit of PB Blaster too. Those couple joints. After I put the pins in, just hopefully it prevents a little bit more of the uh, friction and that doesn't bend. All right, guys. Finally, sitting up here, got my foot. You know, I'm throttle. I'm all picked up and everything. Nothing in front of me that I'm gonna hit. My buckle's got me up. So, anyways. I worked on this and worked on this, pull it up, pull it down, and now, for the most part, I'm getting it to uh, be freed up and working. Sometimes it'll just go to that first click and then you gotta press a little harder. That's not all the way locker. There it's all the way locker. So it's pretty tricky anyways. But it's kind of two spots. Stop, boom, boom. Well, I got it pretty freed up now. So, Alright, first guys. So thanks for coming on the journey, getting that uh locker functioning with me. I'm still not overly impressed. I feel like the the levers should be a little bit longer, give it a little bit more uh more leverage. Um I feel like it should have like heim joints at the ends or something, not just be a piece of flat stock that bends so easy. Um, it shouldn't just be uh, that that metal on metal, steel into steel uh, rotation on the side of the gearbox at the bottom of the tractor that gets all rusty and stuff. Kind of goofy. Needs something, you know, a washer or something between there, bushing, whatever. So. Alrighty guys, but well, we got it we got it going. Uh we persevered. So hopefully some of these tips and tricks uh help you guys out too. Till next time, uh hit like, hit subscribe, drop me a comment if it helped, and uh if you got any tips for me. Till next time, keep building shit guys.